What's going on, YouTube? All right, all right. It is 3.45 in the morning. My time. I'm in Mariana, Florida at the TA. And I'm now leaving the TA I'm gonna go to the house for a couple hours and then head down to South Florida. But as for right now, I'm pulling around there to do my normal morning thing is go inside, get drinks and all that, empty all my trash and go inside and get drinks and then get on the road. It is a whopping 55 degrees here this morning. Yep, yep. Went to bed with AC full blast, woke up I'm like an igloo, but that's okay. I climbed to the front, turned the heat on, and then went back, got under the cover till it warmed up in here. Yep, yep. Ugh. But at any rate, yeah, let's get on up here and get our stuff done and get on the road. Now there is a pilot here at this location, but I'm not going over there to get my code red. If I have to, I'll buy my code red in the bottles and fill my cup up because the pilot's on the other side of the interstate and I don't want to go over there so yeah I'm going to pull up in here and do what I got to do so yep yep let's get her done folks Cool, got an empty trash can right there. That's what I need. Hey, folks, got my drink, got my Red Bull, I got extra smokes, I got everything I need for my trip today. So, yeah, let's get going. Here we go. Got the headlights on, got the seat belt on, got the camera on, yep. All right, everything's checked, check, check. Rock and roll, let's go. Yeah, I got a half a tank of fuel, but that'll get me the first leg of this morning, you know, 175 miles to the house, I'll get there, and then uh, once I head south from there, I'll get fuel somewhere. Yep, yep. So we good on the fuel, good on everything else, so yeah, let's go. Oh yeah, check it out, the visor buddy is still down, Turn it's different on in the dark, road 71. <laughs> which visor buddy is pretty much, I don't know, I guess it'll keep the bright lights out of my eyes, you know, people try to bright light you, it ain't gonna work too good, not with the visor buddy down, but, <laughs> Be like wearing sunglasses in the dark. That's all right though. Skip, yes. Party 
already been there. What do you mean, skip it? We're going to and each, folks. Why my GPS trying to make me go west to go back east? Turn left on I-10 West. Dad, yeah, did you hear that? Turn left on I-10 West. I don't know why it wants me to go west to go back east. That made no sense. But here we go. till 2 a.m. to get there, so got plenty of time, plenty of time. All right, folks, we're in Monticello, Florida, Monticello. Yeah. Still got a little ways to go. Got another scale and ag shack to go through. You know, but as I done been stopped at the one ag shack, I shouldn't have no more problems with Ag Shack, so. Yeah, yeah. So let's go, let's go. Well, the scale was closed, so I wonder what the Ag Shack's doing. We're fixing to find out here in about a mile. Maybe a little more than a mile. Yeah. But that was strange that the scales closed. No, it is Saturday, but still, it's a Florida scale. They normally don't. Oh, wait. Tomorrow's Easter Sunday, ain't it? That's weird that Easter's on a, in March. Uh, yeah, it's just weird. But, okay. So, yeah. second ag shack so that was good now I don't have no more ag shacks but I do have another scale going south down there Wildwood but from the looks of it I didn't pass two scales this morning it's closed so they'll probably all be closed if these two were closed out here on I-10 then the ones on 75 would probably be closed too but I won't know till I get there. Hey folks, we're one mile, one mile from 75 South. That's right, one mile. Not even one mile, right here, 75 South. So yeah, buddy, I'm glad I was paying attention. That wasn't even a mile. <laughs> Maybe a tenth of a mile. 
But at any rate, we're going to send you by south here a few miles and then, uh, yep, 12 miles down here to where I would get off head towards the house. Got to stop and get a cup of coffee. Mama wants a cup of coffee before I get there, so I told her I'll stop and get her a cup of coffee when I get off the exit. And then, uh, yep. So yeah, Continue on I 14 miles total to the house, and then from there it's about four and a half, five hours down to where I gotta go. So yep, yep, let's go, let's go. Hey right, folks, getting off the exit here. Yep, yep. make a left and then there's a, a sun stop fuel stop there on the right and that's where I'm gonna stop at and run in and get turn left on state road 47 get no ladies coffee and then uh go from there man stop come up quicker than I thought state it would road 47 jeez almost didn't stop all right all right Let's go, let's go. We got plenty. All right. Now, yeah, like I said, there's a sun stop right here on the right. And in behind it, there's fuel pumps. Now, you gotta, I think that's where the city gets their diesel or something. I don't know, it's, it's not part of the sun stop, but there is fuel pumps back there so I can get back there and park and then walk down here and get our coffee so yep yep and then I'll probably have to jump off that wall right there but that's okay Turn it's okay the side, then take the first right. so yep let's get in here Get back with y'all here shortly. All right, all right, all right. I got the coffee. Got it. Drinks and all I need for now. Let's go down the road here. Pick mama up. Well, no. Go to the house, get a shower, and hang out for a little while. Me and my appointment ain't until. 2.15 a.m. I got plenty of time to get there. So yeah, I'm probably going to hang out at the house for a little while and then, then go south. But, yeah. Well, that's the plan anyways. Now we'll see what happens. My phone was down to two percent. It was fixing to shut off, and I didn't even realize it was that low. Good God! My head at this morning. It didn't even give me a warning that the battery was low. Well, look at that Peterbilt there. Yep, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's a sweet ride right there. Hey, right, folks. Still going south down here in Sarasota. And of course, it's left lane restricted for trucks, but look at here. Y'all see that? CWC. He, he don't care. <laughs> well, then again, this ain't Georgia. If this was Georgia, he'd have done been pulled over by now. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, I still got oh, about 52 miles to go to destination. 52 miles, and we will be there. So, yeah. And that fool's up there. Look at him. Yay. Look at him. Oh, he's like, he's teasing people like, come on, try me. <laughs> uh -huh. At any rate, went through some areas back there. You can tell where the hurricane wiped them out back there in Hurricane Ian. 
they still rebuilding. But yeah. Alright folks, I'll get back with y'all in a little bit. Well uh, folks, I got here yesterday at about three o'clock yesterday afternoon. Nobody in line to go in. The girl said, No, you can't check in yet. You gotta wait till one o'clock in the morning. So here it is, one o'clock in the morning. And this is what I got. About eight trucks in front of me at the gate. The rate this is going, I got a 215 appointment. It'll be 215 before I get through the gate. This is ridiculous. Ain't moved in eight minutes. But yet, you see the Walmart lane. It's going right in. Yeah. But our lane, on the other hand, is not. Right on the right, there's a pond. Yesterday, when I pulled up here and it was daylight, the sun was shining. There's like three gators, two of them on the bank right here, and then one just over here sunning in the water, big old 10 footer. There are lights on that classic. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. The way it's all lit up. Yes, sir. We got this flat top, folks. Red Peterbilt flat top, double fenders, yeah, buddy. All right, all right, all right. Good morning, folks. Load is done. It is 4:40 a.m. So they didn't waste no time here. I thought I'd be here for hours and get me some sleep, but nope. Didn't work out that way, so. Now let's get the flock up out of here and head north. Yep, yep. That's what we're going to do. Oh, I got to remember how to get out of here now. I was half asleep when I come in here. <laughs> I gotta remember how to get out. Uh, oh. Okay. Please drive to highlighted route. By nine nine thirty. What a deal. Uh, at any rate, you got to get out of here first. I probably should have closed both doors. I wasn't thinking about them. I was thinking about getting out of here. I'm sorry. Right. If you want me to open a door, I'll open a door. I ain't worried about all that. Yep, yep. So let's go, let's go. Hey, folks, here we go. We have 280 miles to go today, so. Let's get her done. Turn left on Southwest Dutch Price Boulevard. Day or so. Yep, yep. Let's go, let's go. Look at that Peterbilt there, folks. That one's pretty sweet. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. What's going on, YouTube? All right, all right. 
It is 3.45 in the morning, my time. I'm in Mariana, Florida at the TA, and I'm now leaving the TA and going to go to the house for a couple hours and then head down to South Florida. But as for right now, I'm pulling around there to do my normal morning thing is go inside, get drinks and all that, empty all my trash and go inside and get drinks and then get on the road. It is a whopping 55 degrees here this morning. Yep, yep. Went to bed with AC full blast, woke up I'm like an igloo, but that's okay. I climbed to the front, turned the heat on, and then went back, got under the cover till it warmed up in here. Yep, yep. Uh. But at any rate, yeah. Let's get on up here and get our stuff done and get on the road. Now there is a pilot here at this location, but I'm not going over there to get my code red. If I have to, I'll buy my code red in the bottles and fill my cup up. Because the pilot's on the other side of the interstate and I don't want to go over there. So, yeah. I'm going to pull up in here and do what I got to do. So, yep, yep. Let's get her done, folks. Cool, got an empty trash can right there. That's what I need. Hey, folks, got my drink, got my Red Bull, I got extra smokes, I got everything I need for my trip today. So, yeah, let's get going. Here we go. Got the headlights on, got the seat belt on, got the camera on, yep. All right, everything's checked, check, check. Rock and roll, let's go. Yeah, I got a half a tank of fuel, but that will get me the first leg of this morning, you know, 175 miles to the house, I'll get there, and then uh, once I head south from there, I'll get fuel somewhere. Yep, yep. So we good on the fuel, good on everything else, so yeah, let's go. Oh yeah, check it out, visor buddy is still down, it's Turn different on. in the State dark, <laughs> which visor buddy is pretty much, I don't know, I guess I had to keep the bright lights out of my eyes, you know, people try to bright light you, it ain't gonna work too good, not with the visor buddy down, but, <laughs> be like wearing sunglasses in the dark that's all right though skip yes I've already been there what do you mean skip it 
going to any of folks. Why my GPS trying to make me go west to go back east? Turn left on I-10 West. Dad, yeah, you hear that? Turn left on I-10 West. I don't know why it wants me to go west to go back east. That made no sense. But here we go. Till 2 a.m. to get there, so got plenty of time. Plenty of time. All right, folks, we're in Monticello, Florida. Monticello. Yeah. Still got a little ways to go. Got another scale and ag shack to go through. You know, but he's not up in stock at the one ag shack. I shouldn't have no more problems with Ag Shack, so. Yeah, yeah. So let's go, let's go. Well, the scale was closed, so I wonder what the Ag Shack's doing. We fixed to find out here in about a mile. Maybe a little more than a mile. Yeah. But that was strange that the scales closed. No, it is Saturday, but still, it's a Florida scale. They normally don't. Oh, wait. Tomorrow's Easter Sunday, ain't it? That's weird that Easter's on a, in March. Uh, yeah. It's just weird. But, okay. So, yeah. through the second ag shack so that was good now I don't have no more ag shacks but I do have another scale going south down there Wildwood but from the looks of it I didn't pass two scales this morning it's closed so they'll probably all be closed if these two were closed out here on I-10 then the ones on 75 would probably be closed too but I won't know till I get there. Hey folks, we're one mile, one mile from 75 South. That's right, one mile. Not even one mile, right here, 75 South. So yeah, buddy, I'm glad I was paying attention. That wasn't even a mile. <laughs> Maybe a tenth of a mile. But at any rate, 
Uh, we were 75 south here a few miles, and then, uh, yep, 12 miles down here to where we get off, head toward the house. Gotta stop and get a cup of coffee. Mama wants a cup of coffee before I get there, so I told her I'll stop and get her a cup of coffee when I get off the exit. And then, uh, yep. So, yeah. Continue on I 14 miles total to the house. And then from there, it's about four and a half, five hours down to where I gotta go. So, yep, yep, let's go, let's go. Hey, folks, getting off the exit here. Yep, yep. make a left and then there's a, a sun stop fuel stop there on the right and that's where I'm gonna stop at and run in and get turn left on state road 47 get no ladies coffee and then uh go from there man stop coming up quicker than I thought state it would 47 jeez almost didn't stop all right all right Let's go, let's go. We got State buddy. Road, State Road 47. All right. Now, yeah, like I said, there's a sun stop right here on the right. And in behind it, there's fuel pumps. Now, you gotta, I think that's where the city gets their diesel or something. I don't know, it's, it's not part of the sun stop, but there is fuel pumps back there so I can get back there and park and then walk down here and get our coffee so yep yep and then I'll probably have to jump off that wall right there but it's okay Turn left it's okay the stop sign, then take the first right. so yep let's get in here I'll get back with y'all here shortly. All right, all right, all right. I got the coffee. Got it. Drinks and all I need for now. Let's go down the road here. Pick mama up. Well, no. Go to the house, get a shower, and hang out for a little while. Me and my appointment ain't until. 2.15 a.m. I got plenty of time to get there. So yeah, I'm probably gonna hang out at the house for a little while and then, then go south. But yeah. Well, that's the plan anyways. We'll see what happens. My phone was down to two percent. It was fixing to shut off, and I didn't even realize it was that low. Good God! Where my head at this morning. It didn't even give me a warning that the battery was low. Well, oh, look at the Peterbilt there. Yep, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's a sweet ride right there. All right, folks. Still going south down here in Sarasota. And of course, it's left lane restricted for trucks, but look at here. Y'all see that? CWC. He, he don't care. <laughs> but then again, this ain't Georgia. If this was Georgia, he'd have done been pulled over by now. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, I still got oh, about 52 miles to go to destination. 52 miles, and we will be there. So, yeah. And that fool's up there. Look at him. Yay. Look oh, at him. Man. He's like, he's teasing people like, come on, try me. <laughs> uh -huh. any rate, went through some areas back there. You can tell where the hurricane wiped them out back there in Hurricane Ian. They still rebuilding. But yeah, 
Alright folks, I'll get back with y'all in a little bit. Well uh, folks, I got here yesterday at about three o'clock yesterday afternoon. Nobody in line to go in. The girl said, No, you can't check in yet. You gotta wait till one o'clock in the morning. So here it is, one o'clock in the morning. And this is what I got. About eight trucks in front of me at the gate. The rate this is going, I got a 215 appointment. It'll be 215 before I get through the gate. This is ridiculous. Ain't moved in eight minutes. But yet, you see the Walmart lane. It's going right in. Yeah. But our lane, on the other hand, is not. Right on the right, there's a pond. Yesterday, when I pulled up here and it was daylight, the sun was shining. There's like three gators, two of them on the bank right here, and then one just over here sunning in the water, big old 10 footer. There are lights on that classic. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. The way it's all lit up. Yes, sir. What's going on YouTube? Yep, yep. You ready to leave the house now? I got to spend one night at home. Now I'm going to load some eggs and uh, go to Coco. Coco Beach, I guess. Coco, Florida, that's all I know. That's where I'm headed. I gotta go get some eggs and I'm headed to Cocoa, Florida. So let's go, let's go. But first you gotta go over here over by the the huddle house at I-10 and 301 and uh get the truck washed. Yeah, there's somebody coming and I guess a mobile truck wash he's come there and washes for you. Hi folks. We right here at the uh, exit 303. This is where the, the little fuel stop is at the Huddle House. And I'm supposed to meet them at 10:30 right there by the Huddle House in some lot by the Huddle House. So yeah, that's where I'm headed. And then I don't know where the eggs get picked up at. That's somewhere somewhere here in Lake City. That's all I know. Don't know where. But I'll find out after you get the truck wash. Got till 2 o'clock to get them picked up. It is 10.15 now. So, yeah. Let's go, let's go. Right there, y'all can see the little house up here on the right. I got a pool in the field beside it. So, okay. Said so there's some fenced in. I don't know what you're talking about. in here get the truck washed and get to drive right back through the mud holes to get out. What a deal. <laughs> Makes a lot of damn sense to have this be the place to wash the truck, but I guess whatever works, works. <sighs> He's got to do a wash out on it too, so yeah, I guess I'll back up on the piece of concrete over here. I'll back up on this concrete. 
Look at this concrete right here, too. That's, that's all concrete. But yeah, I want to be where I can just drive right out of here and be good. I'm just giving them room on both sides here, folks. That's why I'm pulling forward to get right in the middle of this. There's like three parking spots, car parking spots in the back. And I'm trying to get in the middle of all three of that way. He's got room on both sides to get around the truck. And the washout goes out in the grass. just wait on him to get here all right folks i am loaded and i am now headed out of here so yeah buddy got 215 miles to go to get the destination so yeah let's get her done let's go let's go i gotta stop and get us something to eat first but yeah other than that ready to go. Gotta get something to eat and uh, fill my cup up and everything before we go. Fat boy hungry. Fat boy hungry. It is 2.30 in the afternoon though. And I got a three hour drive ahead of me. I ain't got to be there until midnight I think what he said it's a midnight delivery but I don't want to get there and be off the clock for a little while so I'll have a clock to run tomorrow yep yep well, I made it out of there and had some fool come around me blowing his horn at me you know because I pulled out there uh, I guess I was supposed to wait five minutes with my trailer sitting on those train tracks there I'm not supposed to wait on this fool to come by. No, I don't think so. And they got this trailer loaded all the way to the back door with eggs. That's a bunch of eggs. I mean, floor to the ceiling all the way to the back. Good God. That's a bunch of eggs. Why are they going to Walmart, I think? I think it's a Walmart where I'm taking it to down there in Coco. So, yeah. What a deal. I don't know who this was that done this truck wash there, that the mobile truck wash, but man, that was the shittiest truck wash I've ever got. Now, I've got some shitty truck washes, but for $107, on the right, I mean, it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad, but I had to have that wash ticket to get in there to get loaded. So, uh, I got it done, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I'll be using them again. Well, I might have to if I'm loading another load out of here. All right, folks. The wagon is weighed, and I'm now headed to Coco. Look at this old Peterbilt right here. What is that? That's an early 80s model. That's old. 
But yeah, buddy. Yeah, this is a ball one for those of you who know, you know. And this is not the truck stop to come to if you got choices of the map. Which there is a choice to go cross street to the loves, but I don't like the loves. I like the pilot. So yeah. Uh, but getting out of here is the next problem. So let's see if I can manage to get out without getting hit. Let's go. Here we go. Wish me luck. <coughs> Here's the new, the new ramp they got here in Baldwin. They've been working on for years and years. They finally got it done. Yes. Yeah. Looks nice. Watching it, if I like some truck, it just goes wild, but it gets just start getting. Yeah, they, they, they don't help. Yeah. As far as that Baldwin traffic, it is still. Yeah, at bad. certain times, it's still just as bad as it was if it wasn't there. Yeah, I need to get on over. Continue on I-10. <laughs> yes, dear. I heard you. All right. I'll get back with y'all a little bit. Hey, folks, here we are getting on 295 South. That's right, 295 South. We're here in Jacksonville. And uh, go up here about 15 miles and then we'll catch 95 South. What the hell? What is that dude hauling? Oh, I don't know what that was, but it was big. We saw it, that's the one I was looking for. Hey, folks, here we are on the Buckman Bridge. I remember when this used to be four lanes total now. All kind of lanes. Now it's like six. Uh, it's eight lanes total. Oh, yeah, four on each side. And still gotta go slow. For the slow poke Cheetos. I can't get over in that left lane. I used to race across this bitch on my motorcycle. Well, that was back before it was four lanes both ways it was it was four lanes but it was two one way two the other uh, but I used to race on it uh, on my motorcycle we'd race across this bridge how did they extend it when it's up to the water yeah well folks I found traffic well ain't even yeah this is getting off of 295 on the 95 yeah, we're already stopped. Already, yeah. We're not even on the road yet, and we are stopped. <laughs> uh, yeah, y'all heard my little, my little sidekick, trusty little sidekick with me today. Yeah, got one of the boys going to South Florida. But anyways. quarter mile I can go forward. Ain't nobody wanted to let me in. Oh God, I don't want to get behind the big truck. Oh, her, her. There's a whole bunch more room that I lost. Really? <laughs> you gonna get there faster by getting in front of the big truck? Okay, if you think so. You know what? Watch, someone's gonna try to pull out a club. I'm going to no. I'm going to go all the way to the end of this and I'm going to do like cars do. Well, run, be another dirt, dirt. run all, the, <laughs> all the way to the end and dive in. Yeah. I'm going to be at the dirt to dirt. The dirt to dirt. Yep, I made it. Doop, 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 doop. 
I might have been in the lines, but I made it, folks. Yep, yep. Now they're holding up the next lane for me. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Thank you. Go and give them a little flashers for thank you. Okay, now we are still in traffic, but we're moving. This is all that Easter go home traffic now because I was in this shit Saturday. Uh, didn't really have much traffic Sunday because I was up and going at three o'clock in the morning. Ain't too many people out Easter Sunday at that time. And now it's Monday. And everybody's headed back home. So yeah, buddy. So folks, I'm gonna probably make this the end of today's video just so I can get something out there and then we're gonna start from here and start working on tomorrow's video. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching TTVE.